I'm Alan Kenny, Editorial Director with REIT.com, and we're in New York for REIT Week 2015, NARIT's Investor Forum. Joining me is Bobby Taubman, Chairman, President, and CEO of Taubman Centers. So Bobby, I want to start off by expressing my condolences on the passing of your father. He's been celebrated as an innovator in the uh, mall industry. How do you see the company carrying on that legacy of innovation? Well, I'm delighted to be here with you, Alan, and all of your listeners. Uh, we obviously, uh, our father was an amazing guy. He started our company, founded it 65 years ago, and it's grown into this wonderful business all over the world. We, uh, uh, he was an architect, and his sort of understanding of, of what could be and the, sort of the vision of things and how to make things better, not just different, was just amazing. And the sort of the DNA of the company is, the, is the, that sense of planning that he had as an architect, it, it's really embedded in our culture uh, throughout. So we are absolutely you know, going to honor his legacy in the same way that we have for many, many years, but focused on good planning, focused on good projects, uh, and building really unique things that are really better, not just different. And Taubman Centers has focused quite a bit recently on expanding in Asia, China, South Korea. Uh, what have been some of the biggest uh, surprises and in terms of challenges and uh, opportunities? Well, on the challenge side, I don't think there's any question that understanding the cultures and the regulatory environment you know, are really the most important things. And the regulations, especially in China, can change dramatically and change quickly. So you have to be prepared for that and be very flexible. On the positive side, you know, number one, I would say that our partners, both in Korea with Shinsege and in, in China with uh, Wafujing, our partners have been exceptional. They've helped us meet those many challenges, especially the cultural and regulatory ones that I mentioned. Uh, they've also helped us uh, in, in the planning and helped us in, in, as we lease through the projects and get ready to manage these projects as we build them and open them. So they've been really terrific partners. I'd say beyond that, we're, we're delighted with the team that we've been able to build. We now have over 100 people uh, in Asia. We have four offices. Uh, in, in Hong Kong, our main office, but in Shanghai and, and, and in Beijing and China and then in Seoul in Korea. And those hundred people are engaged in all aspects of development, leasing, marketing, operations, and all the support groups that you need in order to help manage those people. So we've got a great team that we've created over there, and I really am pleased uh, with the progress that we've made. And looking ahead to the future, I mean, clearly the explosion in online retail has really changed the retailing business. For mall owners, what is the key to securing the future? Well, at Taubman, we've really embraced technology in every way. We, we absolutely believe that successful retailers are going to be omni-channel. You've got to be basically touching the customer, however that customer wants. And if you're a retailer, you don't care whether you sell them something in brick and mortar or you sell it to them online. We strongly believe, and, and, and we see lots of evidence uh, of this uh, uh, being correct, that the heart of all retailing is going to be brick and mortar. And, and when you think about all the advantages that brick and mortar brings uh, to a retailer, uh, from a branding perspective, an image perspective, a distribution perspective, if you think about a, a company like Macy's that has 800 stores, they have 800 places to have inventory and distribution opportunities that they can deliver wherever they're supposed to go, wherever they need to go at, at a moment's notice. When you think about the, the brick and mortar as a service center for online deliveries, for online pickup, for uh, 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 returning things and buying other things. So the, 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 the ability to have online is really a tremendous advantage to a retailer. And what we're seeing, uh, you know, some of those data points is that online retailers are actually opening stores. Even Amazon now is testing the concept of stores. So we fervently believe that, that brick and mortar is that heart of omnichannel retailing. Now, beyond that, we're also embracing technology in the apps that we're creating and wayfinding and navigating through a center and finding parking spaces and in, in being able to market it's the most efficient marketing uh, uh, system that's ever really been developed. So we're, we're very pleased. Our, our buildings are, 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 we use smart technology throughout our centers, the sustainability opportunities. I mean, there's just really endless chances 
with technology to become more efficient and more productive for our shareholders. Interesting times. Thank you so much for uh, joining us, Bob. Thank you, Alan. And for more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.